So I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Aries. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Let's see, what do we have for Aries? They have fear. So somebody is afraid of something. We have spiritual awakening. Wow. So somebody is afraid <clears throat> of another person that is enlightened. This could be someone who have um, experienced a rebirth. That person has went through a spiritual awakening. Now, this person <clears throat> could have wanted someone to be seen as another person that, I mean, seen as someone that needed to be, another person needed to be worried about, like suspicious about. But now this person is someone who um, could be enlightening other people. They're helping somebody make some type of life change or other people. This is someone that is helping other people get woke. Yeah, you have surrender. So whoever this energy is that is enlightening people or they've, you know, enlightened someone, help this person to experience a rebirth and go through an awakening. They release this person that is in fear. They let go of that person. This was somebody um, that they needed to release. You have anxiety. <clears throat> so this is someone who's definitely going through a lot of depression. They're stressed out because another person is woke. Or another person is helping other people get woke. You have date. So yeah, whoever this person is that is in this energy of enlightenment. that has helped another person make life changes. They want to date that person. But this stresses another person out. So this could be someone, if you're enlightened, <clears throat> you've helped another person or encouraged another person to um, get enlightened, learn different lessons, and have this rebirth, do things that they wouldn't normally do. They want to date you. And this is somebody is stressed out because they wanted this person to fear you. You have storm warning. They didn't see this coming. Yeah. They didn't know that the truth would be revealed. They didn't know this person would gain clarity about them not wanting them to get enlightened about something. So whatever it is that you're doing, you could be someone that is very spiritual. Um, you're enlightened. You're helping other people get woke. You're helping other people make life changes and end out different things, you know, learn different lessons and um, detach from things that don't serve purpose in their life. They thought that they would be able to have control over this. Like that person would view you as someone that they needed to like be scared of. And it was because this person was scared. So they we're projecting their energy on whoever the person is that wants to date you, but it like it backfired because this person found out the truth. Now it's like they're stuck in their own energy, the energy of fear, anxiety, stress, depression. Yeah. You have toxic relationships. So this could be someone that they were in a toxic relationship with. This could be someone that was very codependent to that person. And they felt like if they could get that person to fear you, that person would not come toward you. That person would not see something or find out the truth about something. Yeah. 
Yeah, somebody create tried to create some type of misunderstanding. And it didn't work. You have healthy choices popping out in the reverse. But, you know, I took it in the upright. This is someone who did not want that person to um, practice healthy choices. Focus on self-love, taking care of their self. Making healthy choices in relationships. You have hand of cards. And then you have wedding rings. Yeah, they feel like if that person would um, decide to do whatever it is they didn't want that person to do, they would be taking a leap of faith with hands of cards being here, taking a chance to reunite or connect with another person that they have a soul connection with. This is eternal love between two people with wedding rings being here. There's a union that is supposed to happen with you and this person. And if they can get this person to fear you, not um, see the truth, they felt like this will keep this person in this toxic relationship. You have sunglasses. This is definitely someone that's watching, stalking. They're focusing on you. And then you have the butterfly. This is sad. This person felt like if they paid attention to you, whoever the person is that's in fear, this toxic partner, if they watched you, focused on you, or looked at you, this would help them to um, take their relationship to the next stage or something like that. They would be able to evolve by watching you. So this could have been secret competition. This person felt like if they could copy you, do whatever it is that you were doing, this will keep that person attached to them. So this person was studying you because they knew that you and that person have a soul connection. There's a union between you and that person. And if they could be you, embody your energy, they could keep this person in this toxic relationship. But it's like that person found out the truth. We have love. Yeah, but it's like this person is someone that's in love with you. They have a lot of passion for you. This person feels at one with you. Um, and they're attracted to you. Yeah, this is someone who likes you. So no matter if that person was trying to look at you, to secretly compete with you, copy you, it made it worse. It made that person more and more in love with you. Yeah. You have the lovers in the Ace of Cups. It just made that person realize that they want you. Yeah, you have the world. So this is completion. This person have completed a cycle. They've released whoever this person is that they needed to release. Yeah, this was an ending that was supposed to happen. Whether that person felt like they would sit back and study you, copy you, embody your energy. It was already set up to fail. You have the page of cups. And then you have the moon. You have the knight of swords. Yeah, they got upset because they found out this person was secretly like admiring you. They have a crush on you while they were in this toxic relationship with this person. So they got angry. And this is how they started watching. So it, they could have been stalking that person, watching that person. If this is someone that was focusing on you, watching you, um... Or something like that. They found out about you either through somebody that knew that this person was secretly admiring you and this was a secret. 
or they found out because they were, you know, stalking and spying on that person. They could have been looking through that person's phone or something like that. But when they found out, they were angry. We have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the chariot popping out in the reverse. Yeah, this is one. They said they were going to make sure that that person did not come towards you with this Ace of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. Yeah, because they knew that this person was in love with you, but they were hiding it. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, this person definitely knew that this was a union. This is a this could be your destined partner. This wasn't just someone that had a crush on you and they were secretly admiring you. This Wheel of Fortune talks about divine timing. It talks about good luck, abundance, karma. So they knew that that person would be doing something that they're destined to do. And this was definitely a soul contract with the Ace of Pentacles that they have with you. But they were trying to stop it with the chariot. You have the Hermit. And then you have the High Priestess. So yeah, if you're someone that's very spiritual, they knew that you were someone that was very intuitive, like you could be a tarot card reader. This is how they felt like they can get that person to isolate their self from you because the high priestess is like, you know, somebody that's very mysterious. And if that person was someone that was not enlightened, they definitely did something to try to create an obstacle so that person would not come towards you. And this person ghosted you. In the past, you have the Knight of Wands. And then you have Temperance. Now this person is in the energy where they're very, you know, they're, they're, this Knight of Wands is someone that's fearless. They're very passionate about going on a journey. And it's like they're going towards something quick because now they want this, um, the situation between you and them or the connection between you and them to have balance. They want to create a common ground. Hold on one sec. Yeah, this is someone who wants to come to a common ground now that they have found out the truth. It's like everything has changed now. You have the Queen of Swords. And then the nine of wands. Yeah, this person, they got scared because of something you said. So if you're you're someone that read something like through tarot or your intuition told you something about somebody that a person that you're supposed to come in union with was attached to, you could have said something about this. And it made them very nervous. So they wanted that person to be nervous and, you know, in fear of whatever it is that you said. This person would reject you and not them. This is somebody that felt like they had one up another person because they knew hidden knowledge. It's like they already knew this. They could have knew way before you found out. Way before you had um, got enlightened about who the person is that you're supposed to be coming in union with or reuniting with. Yeah, Six of Cups. This is definitely a reunion. Way before you found out, this person knew. We have the Knight of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person is still coming towards you. But they needed to find out the truth. It's like now they're taking action. Yeah, the emperor. This is definitely someone who takes action. This is someone who stands in their power.
You have justice. And you have the three of wands here. So this is someone who is definitely coming towards you. They're waiting for something to be balanced out with the three of wands and justice. To be able to come towards you to balance something out. This could be a legal situation. You have the Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Wands. So yeah, something blocked this person off besides whoever this person is. This was a legal matter. With Justice, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Now, they could have been waiting for this situation to be balanced out for a long time. And now that it has balanced out or gotten balanced out, some type of decision was made involving a legal situation that they were dealing with. And now they're getting ready to start over, have a new beginning. And this could be, you know, them taking action towards wanting to come towards you and follow their heart. It's like all of this gave this person a complete wake up call. Everything that you said about this person that they were attached to, it backfired. Yeah, then you have judgment and the Ten of Wands. This is somebody who just, you know, didn't feel like they would go through any karma or they wouldn't have to pay for whatever they did. Now they're weighed down with a lot of karma, a lot of guilt. And they don't know when it's coming with the two of swords. Like they're not going to see something coming. Because they felt like they had the power to create blockages for another person's um, new beginning. Yeah, they definitely felt like they would be able to get away with it. Like somebody could have lied in the legal situation as well that this person was in. Or they could have lied in a legal situation if this is you who went through some type of legal matter. It's like all of this backfired. And they're in the same energy in fear of this person coming towards you. You have self-forgiveness. So somebody is definitely for having to forgive their self, letting go of a lot of guilt. You have dream big. So yeah, this person, if they ghosted you, disconnected from you, um, because of the person that they were attached to, they were stuck in guilt for a long time, but they've released this guilt. Then you have dream big. This is someone who's only thinking about expanding their life, expanding their horizons. They're no longer letting small things get to them. Or letting small things that people say or um, have them overthinking something. You have protection. Whatever you said about this person, this was to help this person learn how to set boundaries, like protect their self. Yeah, this is like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but you have the Knight of Swords and then you have the, the High Priestess. This could be someone that was doing a lot of things that was unknown. Like this person could be very educated with magic, spell work, different things like that. And once you found out that the person that you were supposed to come in union with um, was dealing with someone like that, you said something. But the, if they got behind the scenes and tried to throw something at you out of anger, that backfired. And now they're in fear of What's going to come back towards them with the seven of wands? Like what's going to happen? Because you're protected. This didn't hit you. Whatever they were doing. 
Yeah, somebody thought they were going to destroy another person and um, make another person believe that there was a union or a connection between them that was destined. And it just did not work. This person ended up finding out the truth and now they're getting ready to come towards you. It's like they're taking action now. And this was this person's worst fear. It's like they're standing in the energy of fear. They're living their worst nightmare. 